Hey everyone, welcome back to Foxtag and in this video I'm gonna walk you through the process of starting Notion on your iPad. Now, as you probably know, Notion is a very powerful productivity tool that I can use every single day. It's just the best way to organize your thoughts and notes. It's obviously not sponsored by Notion or anything, it's just my personal opinion, but at first you'll need to download the Notion app. Now you can open your browser and go to notion.so you can go ahead and find it in there. I guess it's going to link you to the App Store, but I think that you can you can go to the App Store directly and just look up Notion and just download it on your iPad. Now, once you've downloaded and installed the app, open it up and sign in with your email. Now, if you don't already have a Notion account, you can create one easily or you can use any of the options like I, for example, use and sign in with Google all the time. So if you have a Gmail account, you can sign in with that one, no problem. And after signing in, you're all set to start using Notion on your iPad. Now, you can create your first page and just tap on the plus icon and this will open up the page, but you're gonna notice and see that you can nest the pages and you can start a new page with another page. And you can also just reorganize everything. You can grab and drag it over. So once you get the get the hang of it, you're gonna be able to easily just use it and just start getting uh, into the Notion game, right? So the most important thing for me is organization. So I just wanna make sure that every single page has like an emoji attached to it. It's very simple. You just click on the icon and you can choose it. You can also bring up your own icon if you have them in your gallery. So it's up to you. But once you start with that, you basically can keep on going. You can, of course, use the other features like the magnifying glass for searching for specific tags and notes. The sidebar with your workspaces are very useful where you can add pages and endlessly nest them as much as you like. And yeah, there are like very nice things. But there are also a few key differences between using Notion on a mobile version, which also includes the iPad compared to desktop. Because I also use it on Mac computer, but there it's a little bit different. For example, on mobile, there are no hover states. So it means that when you hold down all over something, it's not going to do anything, even if you use like a mouse or something. And additionally, any column structure you've created on the desktop will be collapsed into a single column on mobile, but this is a little bit more advanced you're going to start understanding that soon. Some actions cannot also be performed on the mobile app at all. For example, you can't select multiple blocks on a page at the time. You cannot import the data. You cannot change your account information or delete or leave workspaces. But aside, aside from that, you can use Notion on your iPad the same way you would use on your computer. So hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Subscribe below and I'll catch you in the future.